Hello everyone, in this video we'll be talking about quantifying the societal benefits of electric vehicles. So before uh, we have talked about electric benefits of electric vehicles and how to improve range and other sorts of factors. However, in this uh, video we'll be looking at societal benefits of electric vehicles and what it means is what we're going to find out. So first things first, we need to know the purpose of this whole research article. The purpose or the background is that the researchers have developed a frame for how this concept is being utilized. And they have separated this thing in three different categories. The first one being the utilities, the second participants, and the third one being the society. And how this is interconnected is that one of the example of the utilities basically could mean that reduced termination, reconnection, and arrages more stable energy prices, a more resilient and reliable energy system. So you might be able to see that your utility rates might increase at one point or the other and might decrease. So technically it's not reliable or stable. So what we are trying to goal, our goal in this is to build a stabilized energy system. Now how the participants will be benefited in this framework would be that they would have increased property value, aesthetics, comfort, safety, and a lot of noise reduction. The society benefits this from healthcare costs, job creation benefits, and environmental benefits. And I'll go through each and every factor and we'll learn about how we actually benefit this and uh, you'll also understand how this research article is much much different than the previous research, research article that we have been discussing before so first of all let me just go ahead and slightly go up how what the methodology of how this uh, article is going to be evaluated will be much different than before the first off we're going to be analyzing several factors the first one being fuel Second is operation and maintenance, impact of carbon emission to the environment, health impacts and energy, uh, electric vehicle as grid source. So and before we mentioned that uh, all the societal benefits, everything, utilities, participants. So these things are categorized in different categories and these factors help us identify each of the benefits that uh, will be provided to all the three different categories that I mentioned in my previous slide. So how is this different than the previous videos? In the previous videos, I have mentioned that, okay, electric vehicles are more cheaper than um, gasoline vehicles. However, what we were doing before is that we were just taking a price tag, such as this thing over here. And what we were doing is we see the annual fuel cost and we compared the annual fuel cost with the electric vehicles and bam it's done cost benefit analysis accomplished because what we did was we technically just found out that hey electric vehicle cars the annual uh, cost for operating an electric vehicles was much lower than annual fuel cost of an gasoline vehicles however in this video what we are going to do is refrain ourselves from using price tags of different cars to compare with each other and use a more technical analysis to compare and contrast between these two types of categories such as electric vehicles and gasoline so let's go over the first one the fuel so what we are going to do in this analysis is calculate 10 year period so when you go ahead and buy a new electric vehicle car it comes with a battery pack with a lifespan of 10 years so we'll use the span of 10 years as our calculated amount of total savings that we can do over the span of 10 years. All right, with that in mind, let's go ahead and talk about fuel. So over the 10 years life of a vehicle, this is result in cumulative saving of 4,130 on energy costs. And when you try to charge it using electricity rates, which is more stable than gasoline, because you can see that current pandemic has a, uh, drop the prices of gasoline very low down but it's going to go up and for that reason gasoline prices are unstable whereas electricity rates if we try to switch our electricity from fossil fuels to a more reliable and a stable energy system such as green uh, renewable energy which we get from solar panels windmills and etc such such like that it's a more stabilized rate 
So when you try to use or charge your electric vehicle using that, the amount of saving that you do over the span of 10 years is $4,130. And what happens is that it is very possible that the fuel saving will be significantly higher than the value presented here in the next 10 years because we can see that the factors that are giving us this amount is going to be much more efficient over the span of 10 years. The solar panels now are going to be much more efficient uh, in the next years. And it's a technical uh, technological development that we are going to be able to see. However, for right now, time being, we can just use the current rate and current efficiency and predict for the next 10 years. However, this price, which is $4,130, is going to be much more uh, than the value presented here because this value is a combination of the efficiency and uh, the technological development as of today. All right, now we go to operation and maintenance. Now we know that uh, what happens is that every, every year, a car happens to travel about 100,000 miles on an average. So what happens is whenever a car travels about 100,000 miles, it needs some maintenance. And this maintenance is specifically for gasoline. So what happens is that why does it need maintenance? And why does electric vehicles need no maintenance? And the answer is the electric vehicles have far fewing uh, far fewer moving parts than conventional internal combustion engine vehicles. The battery, motors, and electric uh, electronics associated with the drive train requires no regular maintenance. However, when you use an ICE engine, which is an internal combustion engine, it requires oil changes and that becomes obsolete and there is no other fluids to change aside from brake fluids. So what happens is that you need to go over all these three one two three four five different types of regulation every hundred thousand miles you travel so every traditional vehicles and by traditional vehicles we mean an ICE engine the gasoline based cars you require this amount of dollars invested in your already owned car and to provide as good benefits as it used to before when you bought it However, whenever you buy an electric vehicle, you can see that there's no oil change requirement, there's no automatic transmission fluid requirement, no spark plugs or wires, no mufflers, and a little bit of brake if needed. And this is just an estimate. It could be more. You could be spending 1,400 on your tires, but this is just an estimated analysis between the traditional and electric vehicles. And what we find out is that because of this we can find out this 2140 minus 900 gives us estimated maintenance saving over the life of vehicle to be 1488 so apart from just the fuel analysis that we have done this is the just the fuel it has no other factor included within it and this meant this saving is just for the maintenance of the vehicle and it does not have fuel maintenance included in it so what we are going to do and what you are going to do is in the comment section below every time we go over in the estimated span of amount of money that we are saving on each and every individual factor i want you to add it up total and sum it up and tell me in the comment about how much are we saving over the span of the vehicle lifetime all right now we go over to an impact of carbon emission to on the environment so SCC is basically so societal carbon commission and the value of the SEC is intended to capture the expense of climate changes damages from carbon emission including changes in net agriculture productivity human health property damage from increased flood risk and changes in energy system costs such as reduced cost of heating and increased cost of air conditioning so what happens is that every time um, perhaps a gasoline car is traveling it releases carbon dioxide carbon emissions which might be deteriorating the 
environment. And for that reason, the government needs to take a particular action in order to maintain such structures and maintain the environment. And in doing so, the government has to spend some amount of money to do so because every now and then many people are and are still using gasoline based vehicles and there is no way out of it. So the government has to provide some sort of benefits to the environmentalists who wants to protect our mother earth. Now in doing so, it's not a problem to do so, but we are spending some amount of money. And over one vehicle, and there might be several vehicles traveling at the same time, but this is just the cost of for one vehicle. That is gasoline when compared to an electric. So estimated environmental benefit over lifetime of a vehicle, we save about $866 when we are using electric vehicles. So as we can see, we already know that there is a particular analysis in which we are comparing a gasoline with an electric vehicle rather than just comparing the price tag which we did in our earlier videos. Now here I want to talk about health impacts and according to EPA fine particle poll pollution such as found in vehicle tail pipeline emission and can cause this several harms to an uh, individual. So an individual when uh, faced with such harms such as causes earlier death, short term or long term exposure of a fine particle pollution or car, uh, causes cardiovascular harm such as heart attacks, strokes, heart diseases, congestion, heart failure and is likely to have problems in respiratory harm and now we have COVID as well it might um, you know fasten that process of 10 days and it, ca uh, it may cause uh, cancer as well and it may be having an effect of reproductive of and de uh, development harm. So every time a person faces this problem, he, he or she has to spend some amount of money on medical claims. And when you spend about some average amount in over a lifetime for one vehicle that doesn't harm to an each and every individual, the average cost comes about to be $1,686. So every gasoline vehicle that's traveling, it's doing about an average of $1,686 dollars of damage to a particular individual it might be not you but it could be someone else so it's about uh you know this average price that we have estimated in this research article so this is the amount of money that you save when you try to drive an electric vehicle and perhaps when you drive an electric vehicle you could be saving that much amount of money for someone else who might be having an exposure to this all things uh, that we have mentioned uh, if you were to be driving a gasoline vehicle. All right. Now, another benefit that comes is as when we use grid for charging our electric vehicles. So what happens is there is like a off peak time and on peak time. You can see that on peak time is basically when we have a major tournament such as soccer, football, you might say it. But whenever such things are happening, tournaments, there's a high peak load of people watching the match. And using in that time, charging your electric vehicle is probably not a good idea because the charging rates might go up. Because as we know it from before, the electric rates are unstable because it's not used from renewable energy. It's used from fossil fuels. And because of that reason, since many people are using electricity at that time, many people might want to postpone the charging of electric vehicle. But there's a way out of it. And the way is we have to store energy purchased during off peak times and selling it back to the grid or using as a power home energy behind the meter during the peak load. So when there is nobody, for example, at night, everyone's sleeping. So nobody's using uh, electricity as much as they would be in the day and what you do you utilize that uh, time at night to purchase that amount of energy whatever kilowatt hour you have uh, you might need to charge your vehicle and then you sell it back to the grid when it's a high peak time so when you sell it back you sell it at a rate where the current price is at and you earn some profits either you can do that or you can charge your vehicle whenever you want to 
all right now the second is the storing capacities of ev also make them candidates for renewable load falling which means that they can capture and store excess solar and wind power at the time of generation and make it available for using during times of high demand so because we have this renewable energy we'll be able to use it whenever there is a high demand at the same cost because we, as I mentioned earlier, if we are using renewable source of energy, the rates are always going to be stable because it's not man-made. It's, uh, it's using renewable. And when you do that, estimated grid resource value for a life of a vehicle, you save about $4,000 at once. So we have discussed all the possible benefits that we'll receive from as a society, as a participant and everything. So what's our conclusion? So in total, we care about how much profit we make uh, from using an electric vehicle when compared to a gasoline or ICE engine. The first is we need to know the full suit of electric vehicle benefits, which we have learned. Second, the extent to which these benefits have been quantified in literature and that has been quantified in using different factors. Third is the gaps in quantifying these benefits. The results from this study provide a tool for policymakers to use in determining appropriate investment and incentive levels for electric vehicles. So this might give a rise to the policymakers in developing and adapting to a newly formed technological development that's about to happen for electric vehicles. And in this chart, you can see over here how much money we are saving in different kind of, of sectors, factors that I have mentioned in uh, videos before. And as you can see that $4,130 is just a fuel saving and you can see the bar goes way up and ahead uh, about that and in total what I want you to do in comment section is add all this number up that you see and write it in comments so people understand how much money as a average lifespan of an electric vehicle you might be saving when you drive one thanks for watching have a good day